Uh, Harlan Ellison, my good friend, who is not exactly computer literate, has asked me to do this for him, uh, which is to point out his other memory of these very complicated events and also the various stories told by various people at Universal to various other people, including him and me, the way he remembers it is that it wasn't Eddie Lewis or Costa Garvis or anybody identifiable really at Universal Pictures who uh, killed the project about to make a film above Jack Brown directed by Costa Garvis uh, with his script but it was something related to uh, what you will see in the video that I've made with Michelle Ray and Sean Daniel, which somehow killed the project and not anybody's dissatisfaction with his script. Who knows, it was a long time ago and when you get into these things, the powers that be are telling all kinds of stories to all kinds of people and nobody can be very sure what happened. Except one thing that Harlan told me, which I didn't know. And that is that the reason studios like Universal hold on to properties like Bob Jack Barron for decades, which they have no intent of making, is that each script that they own has a serial number. And each serial number is attached to, in theory, an ongoing production, which doesn't really exist, a phantom production which allows them to write off studio overhead and other expenses against it when it comes to filling out their tax forms forever. Whether this is actually legal or not, whether the IRS would, would like to look into this stuff or not, I don't know. It smells very bad to me and it prevents a lot of films from being made. So I thank Harlan for explaining this to me succinctly, which is something I had never known before.